show you a new blow dry tutorial using the, my favorite holy grail product well it's not a product it's actually like a hairbrush but it's my favorite hairbrush it's the ibiza z4 and the b7 brush enjoy okay so i just got out of the shower that's why my hair looks like this before getting out of the shower i will show you what i did to it i really do believe in prepping your hair before you blow dry or or in general like even if you were to do a natural, prepping is key. I'll show you what I did. I used the one cleansing conditioner to cleanse my hair with. Before I got out of the shower, rinsed it all out, did two pumps of the cleanser back in from the mid shaft to the ends, and worked whatever else I had remaining. So basically work it in, push it in, work it through, and then whatever remaining, I rake it through my roots. I never put product directly on my scalp. That's when your hair gets way down, it falls, and that's how you get oily and greasy. So it's a multi-purpose product. You cleanse your hair with it and then you use it as a leave-in as well. Right after I did that, I did the Wen Styling Cream. This protects your hair from the heat when you blow dry and it also eliminates the frizz. I did two pumps as well from the mid shaft to the ends and then whatever I have remaining, I raked it through. You want to change the number of amounts of pumps depending on your hair length. When I do my hair natural, when I don't put any kind of heating elements to it, I add more. Prepping your hair is so key when you're doing any kind of styling. What I do after the cleanser as a leave-in, after the styling cream, I'll towel dry my hair for less than 30 seconds, and then I'll put my hair up in a scrunchie, do my face, meaning do my makeup, and then that's when I do my blow dry. This is the Wen Nourishing Mousse. I do about four to five pumps, again, depending on your hair length. So what I'll do first is squeeze it into my ends, And this, this mousse will just basically help give me some bounce and some body for my hair. And then I'll do another four to five pumps. And then here I just break it through. And you see I never put my products directly on my scalp. That's how you get way down and that's how you get greasy. And for me, whenever I do my blow dries, like I'm gonna rock that for at least four to five days because especially with my length of hair, it gets very tiring. <laughs> okay, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna section my hair off. I'm gonna do one on the crown, two, about two sections, maybe even three sections on the midsection, and then two sections from the bottom. You're gonna need these duckbill clips. You can get them anywhere. You can get them at Sally's. You could get it at any kind of beauty supply store. You can even get them at Target, I believe. I honestly feel when you're really new to blow drying your hair, working very neat is pretty key or else you'll get frustrated. Then your hair will get caught everywhere and then you just wanna give up. But don't give up. The more you do it, the more practice you'll get and the faster you'll be. Taking the crown, sectioning it, I'm just doing twists. So that's one section. The next section, I'm just gonna go straight down towards where the tip of my ear is. And then section that off. So that's two. Now I'm repeating the same section on the other side, going straight down to the tip of my ear and then just coiling my hair. You can use butterfly clips if you want to, whichever is easier for you. I honestly just would recommend to do it as neat as possible because you will probably get frustrated and you'll just want to give up and I don't want you giving up. Go as neat as possible until you get the hang of it and then you can do whatever you want. Now from the tip of my ear back, I'm going to section that off. Actually let's split that in half too. Once you start blow drying, you'll see the reason why and why this all makes sense. And then you'll thank me later. <laughs> and it's funny because sectioning this, I know I'm going to repeat it, it seems like it takes a lot of time, but in the end, while you're blow drying, you have that heat and that brush in your hair, you're going to be happy that all of this is sectioned off. And now from the nape down, I'm gonna split it in half and I'll show you in a second what I mean by that. Let's section this away. 
because this will be the first section that we work on. So basically, it should look like this. So you have one here, you have two, you have three, you have four, you have five, you have six. And then this is the section that we're gonna start on first. I'm using the Ibiza Z4 brush. You could also use the B7. You could also use the G17. This is my favorite. I use this for everything. I have a couple of these actually, and I'll use like blow dry sets, round brush blow dry sets. This is great. It's larger, so you'll get more of a more body out of it rather than you can still get twirls out of this. I've noticed, but you'll get more body and more of that kind of look. All right, everyone. So this is the section that I will be working on first. You guys are probably thinking, wow, that's such a huge section. But a lot of people, when they blow dry their hair, they're not getting enough of the hair for the brush itself. Here's a great tip. The section that you're working on when you're brushing, you always want to get the, the size of the width of the brush. So for instance, this brush section right here is the same size as this section, as this brush right here. So when you get it too small, like for instance, you, you work you have a brush this big and your section is this small, what you're gonna end up doing is you're just gonna have a hard time of blow drying it, one. You're gonna end up get tangling your hair, two. And the third, you're not creating any kind of balance whatsoever because there's no foundation. Take a bigger section, you have like that oomph, I guess. <laughs> so, take bigger sections, guys. And work really slow because you don't wanna brush your hair. Do you see the difference here? When I take a bigger section, it just kind of is easier to work with. And when you take a smaller section, it has a tendency to get caught. Do you see that? When I use a blow dryer, I always make sure that I have a nozzle because that's what protects your hair when you're blow drying it. And it also concentrates on where you want the air to flow. So you always want to make sure that the blow dryer and the brush are constantly moving. You never leave it in one spot. That's what dries the hair out, that's what burns the hair, and that's what singes it. So be careful, use a nozzle. And then if you can see how I have my blow dryer set, the nozzle is going horizontal. It's not going vertical. To me, personally for me, I just feel like that's just too awkward and I like having more control. And having more control for me is having it in a horizontal position. My hair was pretty much almost dry when I clipped my hair up because I did my makeup and all that stuff. But if you guys were doing your hair right after the shower and your hair is soaking wet, you always wanna make sure to take out 75% of the moisture out before getting a brush and a blow dryer in there. So when I blow dry my hair, I always wanna over direct it because that's what creates the most body. So I'll show you right now. And feel free to pause, rewind, pause, rewind because I think that's really helpful. <laughs> Blow dryers on high heat. <laughs> Do you see that? Okay, I had tension. That's what helps your hair from tangling. And it also creates a lot of volume. And it also seals the cuticle. You hold it in place, that is what locks in the curl. And right now you guys are probably thinking, how the hell did you just do that? It's all in the wrist. Elevate. Take the blow dryer out of the hair. Tension meaning pull that hair, guys. Roll it under. Hit it with the dryer for a second. Let it cool off. Release. That's like, what, towards the midsection? You see my wrist? My wrist is moving. Twist it, another twist. Thinking of going in circles with the brush. What is that, kind of like a clock counterclockwise, Jesse? And just let it fall, and you get this. But my ends aren't sealed yet, so let me do it one more time. Now I go all the way through to seal the ends. Hold it to lock in that body. Release, elevate up, twist, 
Another twist, another twist, and release. Two rounds will go over, and then next round will go under. So I go underneath, let it roll in midsection. Hit it for one second, let it roll. I'm not going all the way to the roof this time because I'm creating more of a beachy wave. Twist it, and now I get the end. And I just let it, I just go straight, up, straight out. Let me just repeat that to you just to make sure you guys got it. The first two rounds, I'm sealing the hair. I'm smoothing out the cuticle. Go, you over direct it. I'm not even touching the ends. I go underneath. I twist it out. Do that twice. The second round, I'm kind of, it's like in a diagonal back. My brush is basically in a diagonal position. I twist it in halfway. Let it hit it for one second with that heat. Hold it twist it and I just smooth it out straight out straight out let it fall and you create these it's more of a looser like beachy kind of like the curling iron did it When you work your sections, you always want to make sure you're working in neat sections. So brush it through before you even get that blow dryer in there. You only want to blow dry your hair until all the moisture is out. Make sure you don't over dry it and you always want to make sure you have that tension in your hair when you're blow drying and smoothing it out because that's what seals the hair. It creates the shine and it also when you elevate going out that's what creates the body and that fullness and holding it in for a second is what creates the curl. Think of it like having the hot then all of a sudden with the cool locks it in.
Okay, so now I'm gonna switch brushes. I'm switching now to the Z4. You don't have to do it. I'm just going to do it because this is what I normally do use. But since my hair is longer, this is the reason why I was using it from the nape down. So I did this for a reason. I wanted to show you an example of when you get too much in the brush. This is what happens. It becomes too messy. This is the part where you always want to be neat. And especially since I have layers, that's another reason why you want to split it up. So this part, I'm just going to split it into sections. Section that away. Width of the brush. This is what I mean by width of the brush. Do you see the width? of my section. This is the same section as size of my brush. Elevate up. Pull that sucker. Release. Let it fall. Now I go the opposite way. Cut it in a bag. that in to lock in that curl and to help me create more body and more bounce. some stars. <laughs> it's still pretty hot. 
You want to let it cool off. You can hit it with a cool shot button with your blow dryer if you want, or you can just let it be. Okay, let's pull this one out. <laughs> that section was a little too small I'm grabbing a little bit of the section that I just worked with to connect it so I don't have separation I wear my hair in the middle so I'm gonna section it going over to the middle And let's, this side is really nice. Let's shape this side just so it kind of has more of that flow. So what I'll do is grab this section right here. So it's kind of like that same diagonal back. That's my round brush blow dry. Hey everybody. So, hey, we are announcing a giveaway. As a big thank you to all of our subscribers, we're hiding it inside of Anna's blow dry tutorial here. It's a little tie-in to this tutorial. You might be wondering, oh, what's it gonna be? You're like, why is she making this tutorial? It is. Boom. Ibiza brushes. This is the prize. This is the grand prize here. We're doing three brushes. The Z4, the G17, and the B7. Yeah, I use these two brushes right here. And this is my favorite brush ever. Oh. Holy Grail brush. It is. Uh, really? And then, hey guys, I second place, we have a Z4 brush, which is pretty awesome as well. Yes. So all you need to do is be a subscriber. So subscribe if you're not subscribed. Like the video. That'd be awesome. And leave a comment down below. We're going to pick the winners from the comments. Yes. So I guess we'll make this open to everybody. Uh, I guess. Yeah. Hopefully someone from really far away doesn't win it. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> uh, well, how much would that be? Like shipping? I don't know. Oh, it's okay. We'll, it's okay. we'll take care of it. Oh, uh, yeah. Um, so, <laughs> like, oh, good. Uh, and again, thank you to all of our new subscribers. And, and our then, old, too. And our old. From the beginning. You guys, uh, are, you guys are all new subscribers to us because <laughs> just a little while ago we had pretty much almost no subscribers. Yeah. So, yeah. So thank you. Thank you very much. And let's let Anna get on with the hair tutorial. I think I was, I was pretty much done, though. I don't know. Bye, everyone. <laughs>